Thermal Physics Thermal Concept The role of the physicist is to observe our physical surroundings, take measurements and think of ways to explain what we see. Up to this point in the course we have been dealing with the motion of bodies. We can describe bodies in terms of their mass and volume, and if we know their speed and the forces that act on them, we can calculate where they will be at any given time. We even know what happens if two hit each other. However, this is not enough to describe all the differences between objects. For example, by simply holding different objects, we can feel that some are hot and some are cold. In this chapter we will develop a model to explain these differences, but first of all, we need to know what is inside matter. The particle model of matter. Ancient Greek philosophers spent a lot of time thinking about what would happen if they took a piece of cheese and kept cutting it in half. They didn't think it was possible to keep having it forever, so they suggested that there must exist a smallest part, this they called the atom. Atoms are too small to see, about 10,210 m in diameter, but we can think of them as very small perfectly elastic balls. This means that when they collide, both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. Elements and compounds We might ask, if everything is made of atoms, why isn't everything the same? The answer is that there are many different types of atom. There are 117 different types of atom, and a material made of just one type of atom is called an element. There are, however, many more than 117 different types of material. The other types of matter are made of atoms that have joined together to form molecules. Materials made from molecules that contain more than one type of atom are called compounds. The mole. When buying apples, you can ask for 5 kilograms of apples. Or, say, 10 apples to both are a measure of amount. It's the same with matter too, you can express amount in terms of either mass or number of particles. A mole of any material contains 6.022231023 atoms or molecules. This number is known as Avogadro's number. Although all moles have the same number of particles, they don't all have the same mass. A mole of carbon has a mass of 12 g and a mole of neon has a mass of 20 g too. This is because a neon atom has more mass than a carbon atom. The three states of matter. From observations we know that there are three types or states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. If the particle model is correct, then we can use it to explain why. The three states are different. Solid fixed shape and volume. Liquid no fixed shape but fixed volume. Gas no fixed shape or volume. Molecules held in position by a force. Vibrate but don't move around. Force between molecules not so strong so molecules can move around. No force between molecules, ideally. Worked example. One if a mole of carbon has a mass of 12 g, how many atoms 2 g? The density of iron is 7,874 kilograms m is to power minus 3 and the mass of a mole of iron is 55.85 g. What is the volume of one mole of iron? Solution 1. One mole contains 6.022 multiplied by 10 is to power 23 atoms. 2g is 1 divided by 6 of a mole so contains 1 divided by 6 multiplied by 6.022 multiplied by 10 is to power 23 atoms. Is equal to 1.004 multiplied by 10 is to power 23 atoms. Solution 2. Density is equal to mass upon volume. Volume is equal to mass upon density. Volume of 1 mole is equal to. 0 0.05585 upon 7874 m is to the power 3 is equal to 7.093 multiplied by 10 is to the power minus 6 meter cube.
is equal to 7.09 cm3. This video is concluded here and you surely find something new in the next video for test series paper, tutorials and other study materials. Please visit our website www.livitaacademy.com.